Uh, what's good, y'all? Give me one second. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Bomb Nation, hey. While awaiting trial, Nathaniel Benton stabs a fellow inmate, for which he is sentenced to 50 years. In August 2022, he is sentenced to another 80 years in prison for the attempted murder of officers Henning and Seeger. The case against him in North Dakota for attempted murder is now inactive. Hold on just a minute, y'all. Brian Morton and Ashley Johnson are both released without charge. I'm very happy to have been been the rest of life in jail. I was happy that he was never going to get out, that he couldn't hurt anybody else, and that he wouldn't ever see the light of day. All right. Again. What's up? I got to turn my TV off. I'm sorry about that. Hold on, y'all. I got to. I was started taking wrenches stupidly because. Uh, hey everybody! Hey everybody! What's good? Y'all, give me one minute. We were at canine training with our dogs at the local park, and I received a call from the U.S. Marshals. They had a person that was wanted out of Baltimore related to forty something murders. Gary Creek is wanted for gang activities in Baltimore. U.S. Marshals have tracked him. I'll get Bridges back if I took yours. I, I don't know what I was doing. I thought I was on my block list and I wasn't. I was in my mods. My bad, bro. My bad. <laughs> Can't fight the moonlight deep in my heart. You surrender your heart. All right, so let me go to my chat and say hello to these beautiful people that still think I'm kind of cool sometimes. Okay, where's Period at? There she is, cutie pie. Hey, baby girl. All right. I'm going to give wrenches back to the ones I thought I was on my block list. I was not. I was in my mods. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, bro. My bad. Uh, I'm a fool. Y'all think y'all got me shook out here, don't you? Come on, come on. Mm -mm. Never, never that, never. All right, let me get period. Allison, Angie Brooks, Angie Styles, Anna Marie, Ashley J, Baby B, Bell and Buddy, Brandy, Brown Eyed, Can't Rain All the Time, CT, Shirley Sunspear. Chi Chi, Cindy Lou, Dance You Won, Dragonfly, Evelyn, Flavor, Fun Size Bomb Nation. I don't see you. I need to see you. There's that cutie pie. Fun Size, I'll give it to you back, okay? I'm sorry. Gator Hater, Gingerbread, Go Ask Alice in Jesus' Name, Inez, Jackie Snotty, how you doing? Jeffrey, Jenny Lee, Jen's mom, Joy to me, Just Rabbit, Knitting with Amanda Panda, Laura M, Lexi, Lori, Mama's a Boss, Margie Jones, Beautiful, My Hello Greeter, MC2, Michelle G, Miss Muffin, Mississippi, Mo, Mama Dogs, Moonlight, Mothership, Monkey's Mama, Miss Good Trouble, Miss Little Circus, Nana Six, Nays Mimi, um, Old Earth, Oxygen, Penny Pumpernickel, Patty Lane, Petty Pepper, Pharmacy Girl, Pixie, Queen, Queen Meek, Rock, Sabrina, Sassy Seven, Sassy Scarlet, Sherry Bear, Shay, Side Eye on You, Sloan Ranger, Snake, 
Squishy, Super Nana, The Truth, Tough as Nails, Town Crier Official, Twisty Poo, Wendy Lou, What the What, Willow, and Yenzy. I do it by participants, so if I see, if you're in here and I don't say, hey, it's not that I'm ignoring you, it's that you were on the list. Did you see that egg? I know. Listen, it's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. No, thank you so much for making my day. And congratulations. Yeah, buckle up, bitches. You know, what year is it? 2016? Looking in... Nothing. You didn't do anything, honey. I thought I was on my block list, okay? And I wasn't. I was in my mods list. <laughs> Somebody freaked me out, and I had to fix it. Okay, just chill. All right, chill. Here you go. Now, stop it. You my main squeeze, bruh. All right. Jari, cutie pie. Willow, mohawk. The pallets are gone. I got them out of my yard. She made me an egg, y'all. That's what's up. She made it on my power tools tote. My glasses are on. I do go in alphabetical order. So if you come in after I start that, I'm sorry. Yep, I was in the wrong place. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's because somebody texted me and goes, Take your block list. There's nobody in there. I'm like, what? Okay. My bad, bro. All right. So listen, I got them all coming at me from every direction. All the trolls, all the haters, all the wish they were mirrors. And listen, stop that. Stop it. Hey, Salty. Stop it. How, how many years have y'all targeted me? And how many years have I stood up with my whole fucking chest? By the way, y'all don't realize because y'all are too new to know me, but I thrive when y'all are coming at me. You understand? You just kind of make me all goosey goose feeling and stuff. You know what I mean? This comes around. No, it's no accident. Welcome, ma'am. That's not an accident. Hello, Janet. You were blocked. I apologize. Ashley J. Roll with Todd. Granny. Twisty. All you people. Listen. It's a kind of tingle little feeling, you know, when you know no area. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you, Barb. I appreciate that. Becky from Bama. What's good? I'm the Rocky of YouTube. You you know what? Almost It almost feels that way. I swear for God. Now, before I say anything, let me say what you've done, Paige. What you did, Paige, is piss me off. Now, the reason why I'm pissed off, and I'm not really not even that mad. Not really. I mean, I take everything pretty much in stride these days. You know what I mean? I mean, really. But, you know, when you're when you're putting your honest opinions out here, right, as facts, well, make sure that you can back that shit up. Because your opinion isn't fact. Cheese with my wine in my bedroom. Oh, you're drunk again? Hey, Char yes, I did, Charlie. I did say hey to you. Now, None of you ladies that were up there whining about me, right, have net, can say that I was never mean to you because I wasn't. In fact, when you're trying to uh, say that we're all doxing, right, I believe I took all your wrenches, didn't I, when you doxed? Tupac, didn't you call the Haunted Hotel on Amber, you real life from motherfucker? I didn't do that. I didn't know anything about it either. I believe that was you, wasn't it? Now, listen. I'm going to back all this up, okay? What I say tonight. You called the Haunted Hotel because you were so angry that bot doxed Cat's real picture. Thank you, story time. Hey, Jennifer. How are you, beautiful? Now, you put a lot of things out there as fact. 
you said that I did not give Flavor all the money. I didn't give her flowers and such. Now, we're going to start with that, okay? Then I'm going to move on to the splitting the money with Devious. <laughs> Carla, how are you? Now, I'm going to show you exactly everything because, y'all, she did send me money. I can't lie. She did. I'm sorry. So, I'm going to go ahead and just let that out, okay? And before y'all hate me, let me explain, all right? No, Lena, you're not blocked. Just hold on, Brandy. You'll understand. I have to email it to myself so I can be clear about my intentions here. Because I want y'all to know that I did, in fact, receive something. Say to Grace, you get your behind back, girlfriend. Hold on one moment. Give me one moment in time. All right. Now this, here we go. Oh, that's next door. All right. Don't nobody honk at me like that. All right. So let me share it. Let me go ahead and just get this over with. All right. This is all I've ever gotten from Devious is one transaction, 10 motherfucking dollars. From Devious. All right. That's the only thing she's ever sent me. Okay. So, no, I split no money with Devious. That's the only transaction she's ever given me, ever. Okay. Yes, Brandy, I understand that that's my business. However, they're trying to make it everybody else's business and putting opinions that Devious and I split the money that they gave her to go to the hospital and to whatever else. And she, in fact, did not. It would all show right there because that's the total transactions. Hey, Wispy. So, no, we didn't split any money, okay? And she never sent me a PayPal or a Venmo. I don't even know if she has those, honestly. Seriously, they made it seem like thousands. Yes, yes, they normally do do that, don't they? Hey, Jackie, I appreciate it. You know, if y'all want to hit my cash app and my PayPal and all that, I don't care. You hit it all because what y'all are trying to say about me is, in fact, your opinion and not the truth. If she only got $20, that's not going to get her anywhere, do you think, in this day and time with inflation and all? You know what I mean? Hey, Alabama. Ashby, baby, I don't know. So while you're over there calling me dishonest, right, make sure that you can prove that I've used money incorrectly, that I've stolen somebody's money, and make sure you say it with your whole goddamn chest, bitch. See, simple-minded fools like you are very easy. You're easy to figure out. You're really transparent in your digressions, right? And when you're over there and you're saying honest opinions, you don't want the real honest opinions because you don't like what people are saying to you. Now, I don't care if all the old trolls come over there and troll you to death. I'll keep, I'll keep sticking it to you, okay? Because I love to stick it to you, all right? So while you're trying to destroy my life built and based on opinions only that aren't fact, well, I'm not going to allow you to do that. You picked a fight. Now you've got one. Man up, stop crying in your community post, and shove this shit down your motherfucking throat. Stop lying on me, okay? That's probably going to be your best bet. Now, what you have shown about yourself is that you're shady. 
You're dishonest. You're not trustworthy. That should be enough right there for anybody to not fuck with you. Now, I really don't know why you did this. Other than the fact that Tupac's wife and little Janae were crying in their milk and they came to you. Okay? That's all I can figure. Because I've never done one thing but promote you. Help you. And be kind to you. In fact, I was kind to every single one of you. More so than anybody else because you needed extra attention. I get that you're young. But who were you to call me a junkie when you're not even in recovery, ma'am? See, I never talk about things like this because it's above my pay grade. But we're going to talk about it for a minute. Because if you're in true recovery, ma'am, you wouldn't smoke weed and you wouldn't drink wine. You abstain from all of it. Stop calling me a fucking junkie, bitch. You abstain from all of it. If you're in real recovery, you don't pick and choose your drugs, boo. Now, you can look that up and, and tell me I'm wrong since you want to try to tell me who the fuck I am. You abstain from everything. See, why y'all think y'all have all these receipts, trust and believe, I have all mine. And we're going to see exactly who did what and who said what when, right? Because what you showed today is you showed me clearly saying, no, I don't need anything. That's what you showed. Now, that weekend that I said that my back hurt and I could not get up was also the weekend that I lipped a disc, ma'am. And I, in fact, went to the urgent care. And it shows on that paperwork that there are multi-level multi -level herniations. I'm sorry. I know that you probably have never slipped a disc. I have nine. I bent over in my backyard and I tweaked it. I got up. And that's about as far as I could go. Until you have one or experience one, you're probably not going to know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, you didn't show the entire context of that conversation. And you said that you did and you did not, in fact. Now, I'll probably do that towards the end, okay? Let me tell you something. I need surgery on my neck and on my back from three horrific car accidents. I also have a head injury that gives me short-term memory problems. I know that I don't talk about that shit that much because I don't want to. I can't stand to talk about it. I have nerve damage in both sides of my body. When I wake up in the morning, I can barely move. I have to literally sit there and sit up in my bed and work it all out. Until I can get up and feel my feet and feel my hands. And until you know that. Feeling, miss me with your opinions about it, okay? One wrong move and you will literally have you on your back for days. And by the way, none of those car accidents were my fault. So I don't know how that is a scam by me saying that I couldn't even get up to cook. Hell, I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom. You don't know pain until you have that pain. Okay? And you live with that every day. You can still get up here and smile and laugh with people. You're doing something right in the world. God got me, though. So thank you for your opinion, but you can go fuck yourself kindly every which way but Sunday, honey. All right? But you do clearly see me in those messages go, no, I don't need any help. I'm good. How's that scamming? Now, I was going to put my my paperwork out here, but I don't feel like I owe you that, respectfully. No, 
No, but she didn't need to talk to me about anything. Yes, I did say no. And I meant it. I'm not going to show you my paperwork because really, I don't have to. I don't, you don't deserve it. But I have shown it on a live stream before. I don't owe you a goddamn explanation about my life, my hurts, or apparently my pill popping abilities that you say that I have so strongly. Okay. And I'm going to tell you all a story that I've never told on YouTube before about a man that I was with. I don't talk about it because it was really an awful time in my life. And that man almost destroyed me by me enabling him when he was a pill addict. He destroyed his own life and damn near destroyed mine. I would never ever do that to myself bitch i would saw that up close and personal okay and i love that man more than life itself i followed that man to florida and my parents begging me not to and i did he damn near made me a be held accountable for checks that he was writing off my account that I had no no clue about. And if it wasn't for the parents that I had and me being able to call them and go, I'm in a lot of trouble and don't know what to do. I was young. I was like 24. No, I was 22 years old. He was already on pills way back then. He had had a really bad injury and he was out of the army. And... I've seen it up close and personal. So all of y'all that's been saying that I'm a pill head all these years, you don't fucking know anything. Nothing. I also married that man. And we got the marriage annulled. So yes, I've been married once for less than a week. That's why I don't talk about it. Because that man put me through hell. Because before I met him, I didn't know that he had a crack problem, by the way. So there's that. So there you go. It's all out there. They won't ever, I don't care. As far as I know, he's still in federal prison. I think he's there for life. As far as the last time I, I saw they, that he didn't win his appeal. When he started stealing from churches and things like that. And this was back in 1991. Nope. 1990. 89, 90 around there. I have not seen that man since I left. So there you go. And that's really nobody's business. But I only told you that because I, it offends me a lot of the time when you assume that I'm some kind of pill head that I'm not. You are, in fact, a junkie. Who are you to call me anything in life? Who are any of you to call me anything in life? Call me anything you want to, but you can't call me people like you, huh? Because even at your age, because at your age, yes, he sure did, Sister Amber Ray. Sure did. Because even at your age, I wasn't an asshole like y'all. I certainly wasn't as thin-skinned as y'all. And... I could take somebody punching me in the face because I've had two or three men punch me in the face. So there's that. Now, can I move on from that? Or, but you know, if you, if you truly, um, yes, I can thank the ship for that. Well, we're going to talk about the ship here because there's a lot of people that really don't know this history. So I'm going to repeat it because see, before I needed all this help, you know why I need all needed all that help back then, and why I was 
the downfall of bombshell or whatever why don't you ask savage how her and the ship went to facebook and ruined my facebook business got it taken down when i had almost what three thousand followers something like that i had built it up worked my ass off to build it up and they got in touch with facebook however they did and said that i wasn't selling antique furniture and that um i defrauded them and they shut it down, and I've been appealing it for three years since. I was plugging along. And they did it to be just simply petty. They bragged about it and thought it was hysterically funny. I don't care if they were talking mad shit about me in comments, honey. They just that. A troll. There's a lot of people that remember that. They laughed about ruining my business. They laughed about it for a good while. So listen, the hate that I have for Savage goes way deep than y'all even know. But you know why I don't entertain her? Because she's just not entertaining. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That would really be amazing. But yeah, that's what happened. On my on my on my big page that I had. You know, said so thank you for that, Savage, because you're the reason why everything went south to begin with. So now I'm going to move on from that. Good night and God bless you, Sister Amber Rain. Go fuck yourself on the way out, honey. Bye bye. Did I ever do any of that to them? No. Did I ever fuck with their life? No. Yep, I'm a Christian like a motherfucker. I rebuke you, Satan. In the name of Bibbidi Bobbidi, motherfucker. Okay? Okay? All right, let's move on. Now, I've tried to appeal it all these years, and they just keep telling me the same generic answer, right? I never defrauded anyone. I certainly didn't sell anything to them because y'all just don't know taste anyway. We can tell that by the way you dress. But I digress. They keep pushing me and pushing me, I know. And it, listen, it's okay. My back, I may have a jacked up back, but my backbone is pretty strong. Okay. Thank you for the $50. I appreciate you. So let's move on. Now, I, I guess, the, I hope that all the devious stuff, now you know, that's the only thing she has ever given me. So no, I didn't split any proceeds of anything with her. All right. It was a good business, you're right. They said I never sent the goods I sold. Oh, that's right. That's right. I never sent the goods I was sold. They were sold. Okay. You can't send furniture, but I digress. Anyway, I'm moving on. Because it really doesn't matter at this point, right? It really doesn't. They did what they did. Now, let's move on to present time. You said that I do not give Flavor her flowers. And in fact, Flavor got two things of flowers. One day, she got a globe with a rose in it. And they didn't even leave a, a thing, a, a card with it, okay? That was the first thing that I sent when I sent flowers, but they sent her a globe. So the very next day, I called her local florist and sent her flowers again. Thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate that. And before Savage and all them did that, by the way, there were mods in my room. I was mods for the ship. 
when I first started the DC. And people begged me not to do it, told me it was suicide, and it was. It was. Anyway, let me move on. So, I, in fact, have the receipts of what Flavor was sent by me. Okay. And I'm going to show them. Mothership, she's not even from this community, respectfully. All right. So, hope please. Ew, what? What is happening right now? How are you supposed to know that's a... Because I, I don't have her PayPal. I don't I don't even know if she has a Venmo. That's the only way. That's the only thing I've ever received from her. Because mainly because the receipt said one total transaction. That's why. And I just have no reason to lie. I really don't. I didn't conspire with her for any reason. Now, let me move on to flavor. I'll show that in a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me make sure. This is from me to Flavor. Okay. That's one of them. From Cindy in Bomb Nation. March 18th. That's one of them. Hold please for another. Then Here is the rest. $214 from DD. That's my own money, giving her $25. Chewy's mom sent this, and I gave it all to her. Anything that was sent to me went straight to her. That's it. That's all. Seven total transactions. Okay. So she got everything plus the two things of flowers. Mothership said Brooke was, not Heidi. So that can just stop now. Please. So yes, she did get everything that was given to me for her. Okay. Oh, they were questioning Cindy's payment? Oh. Well, I just showed that. And why were they questioning Cindy's payment? It doesn't matter. I just showed it, didn't I? She sent everyone who sent Venmo a receipt for it. It went straight to Flavor or straight to the flowers the same week she did it. But clearly, Cindy's was sent. Wasn't it, though? <clears throat> you literally said 
that I did not send the flowers and give her all the money, and I, in fact, did. Does that make you feel good? Do you feel like you've done something amazing now? You know what I, I find ironic? Is that you said that we said that you were going to do a tell-all. I said nothing. I told you, in fact, that's not what was said. And what did you do? Try to do a tell-all. The apple don't far fall from the tree. Now, if you didn't like devious, I don't care. That's your hate. That's not mine. Your beef is not my beef. What y'all thought I should do and what I did is two different things. And it's not for you to tell me what to fucking do. Y'all assume that we have been talking the entire time. And in fact, we have not. Just so you know. But I got more. I don't know who watches pockets like this, but we're going to talk about it. So let me go on. Now, I took everybody's wrenches when I found out they were doxing, right? This screenshot is in response to a comment that Paige made to Nana of Six in her comments and lied about what she said. So let me go ahead and show this and shove this down your throat, sweet cheeks. God love you, honey. Bless you. Um, damn. Nano6, you shared a screenshot of something bad mess and said in my Discord, in JJJ's Discord, I'm disappointed. Exit stage right. Oops, I didn't know. Where? Bomb, I'm sorry. I'm gone. Someone said awkward. Then Paige says, what is life? So, stop, Paige, because this petty shit that I'm doing right now is so beneath me, it's unreal. Okay? It truly is. This is petty shit. This is petty, dumb, childish ass, 20-year-old shit. Okay? And then you started deleting comments. You said that you aren't deleting any comments. Then you said that I was in your comments and we're doxing and things like that. I haven't been in your comments. Maybe you suggest, maybe I would suggest that you check channels before you put my name in your mouth. I haven't been in your comments. I don't need to comment to you. Since you want to go public and think you've got some tell-all, right? Right? I'll do the same. Respectfully. And this has been going on, I guess, since my birthday. And again, I simply want to know... What I did to any of you. Okay. When you can tell me what I did to you, I'd appreciate it. What did I do to any of you personally? What it is, independent, what it is. So I hope I've cleared it up. I can't show you anything else about Devious because I don't have anything else. That's all that I have. 
What y'all know is what I know. No, people that lie about a Discord is what makes Discord a bad thing, okay? Because I want to show y'all something, okay? Let me show you something that they didn't know I did, and they're just going to have to forgive me for this, okay? You're just going to forgive me. Because I want to show you something before I move on. And your names are here, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. So while you're saying that everything is so awful in my Discord, okay, let me show you what is not so awful in my Discord. These women were in my Discord a little bit ago, just talking amongst themselves. Nana J. You all have pulled me through some really rough times. I'm proud to be a part of Bomb Nation. I love this group so much. I feel the same way. This Discord has meant the world to me, and the bonds I've pulled here are important to me. I love it here. I found my tribe. When you have women in a Discord that feel that way, you don't mess with it. You allow them to do their thing. Because some of them, this is all they got. You know what I mean? That's really what it's all about right there, I thought. She was leading people to think she was on a phone call when it came out. She wasn't. Oh. There's actually a really great group of people in that Discord. Stop making them look petty. Because they're not. You know who was petty, though? You and Tupac's wife and Janae. That's who was truly petty. You didn't, uh, Rizzo. Uh, it was a mistake. I was just waiting. There you go. Sorry about that. The people that are really in there are in there for the right reasons. Okay. And they love it there. Leave them alone. Stop telling people that these ladies are docs and they're not doing shit in there. That they're crafted in their their own opinions about your asshole actions. I've really tried to build something this time around that I would like to keep. Please stop trying to tear me down. Genuinely. Please. I'm not going to allow you to do it. Anyway. I don't have anything else to show you from, De from Devious because she never gave me anything else. I, I don't know what, y'all. When I say... It doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't. You made something out of nothing when I couldn't get back into Discord and finish my conversation about something. And you made it into something it completely wasn't. You weren't in that voice chat page. Okay. You had already lost your shit in there and nutted the fuck up over something that none of us did. I didn't do it. But you're blaming everything on me that I did not do. I've not scammed anybody. You want to talk about... S now, how about we talk about railing some of the pots and off their man? That's coming, big boy. That's coming. You know what I see? I see somebody who thought they could take me. But what I'm really seeing right now is that you don't have a fucking spine. You're over there crying a community post. 
you bald face got on a goddamn live stream and tried to tell the world that I stole somebody's money that was meant for them while you, ma'am, as a creator, did not raise anything for anybody. I don't know, Willow. I'm not speaking to Devious. Respectfully. We are not talking. And we haven't been to popular belief and what you were told. We haven't been. We have never we have not spoke since the day before Shade's live stream on the telephone. She texted me this information. Okay. Stop lying to these people. You see, what you did is you listened to Tupac's wife telling you things that weren't true. Because Tupac's wife literally had to go into my Discord just last week and apologize to a whole bunch of group of women on a voice chat because she gave them wrong information. Again. We're going to talk about that too. Nobody's been over there doxing you. Nobody from here. Stop lying. Okay. I take in a stray dog, Janae, and you offered to buy it a crate and whatnot. And you said, even if it doesn't work out, don't worry about the crate. So everything that I bought with what you gave me, I sent with the puppy. I thought that's who it was for. What am I going to do with it? Sadie couldn't fit in that. When was that? Yes, yes, she did. But my point to what I said was, she said that she was wrong and she was sorry, but she still gave people bad information before she even went to look to see if it was true. Do you see what I mean? She literally did the same thing to Paige. She told Paige that I told people to stop talking about Girl Interrupted. What I really said was stop accusing the woman that is literally fighting for her life in ICU and accusing them of being misfits media. They are not misfits media. She is in fact having surgery. That is what I said. So please stop talking about her like that. Because someone, because Bot was accusing her of being Misfits Media. Thank you. Casey, respectfully, I don't even know who you are. I asked for prayers. I never, ever went at her. What are you talking about? I would never do that. I adore her. You said I just threw her away. No, I'm just trying to let her get well. I don't bother her a hundred times a day with petty YouTube nonsense, Tupac. That's what I don't do. Because I'm a grown woman and know how to act in public.
you have run around YouTube, running your mouth, starting up all these shit fires that I had to put out for you. And I did so. I was good to you. On a few, yes, that's, that's great. Unless you're going to call Jennifer negativity a lie too. We all adore her. And Bomb said a, on a few occasions that everyone needed to keep her name out of their mouths. Yes, boom, boom, she has. More than one, by the way. And Casey, please go back to bots. Thank you, respectfully. I put up with a lot of shit from you, ma'am. And and I was fine with it because you make me laugh. But now you're going to turn around and stab me in the back and try to get Wog to come after me. And, you know, y'all been emailing him back and forth, trying to start him in the bullshit. And I guess y'all know now that he doesn't want to be in your fuckery, huh? He was right about one thing. He was right that I should have known better. Because I am an OG. I should have kicked you to the curb a long time ago. When you nutted up and, and left the chat in that big, her, her hellacious, dramatic exit that you did. Yes, she did. Okay. Y'all remind me a lot of Timed Out by Owner and Ray Ann. Really. But I digress. You know, um, anyway, let me go ahead. Um, so let me tell you what, who was really doxing. All of you were doxing. I took your wrenches for it. If you don't remember, do y'all remember when I took the wrenches? I remember that pretty clearly. And I, I, I still hold true to that. If I catch you doxing and you are a mod for me, I am taking your wrench. That still holds true. Casey, I didn't say that you weren't allowed. But if you're going to come in here to ask me questions that if you already know the answer to, I don't have time for that tonight, ma'am. Respectfully, that is my opinion. You sure do. Hey, Melanie. You've out, you sat out here and literally told these people I stole money, that I scammed money with Devious, that I stole Flavor's money, and then you tried to say that I stole Zero's money, but you couldn't do that. You tried to get her up on your pound, and she wasn't going to go. Because she doesn't do shit like that, you stupid bitch. There are still, still some people that are that are decent people. No clue, Wendy Lou. Oh, she said that I doxed. Girl interrupted when I showed last night that I, in fact, was told to do that. Okay, Casey. I just don't have time for the pettiness right now. I'm just trying to get through this. Because I'm pretty sick and tired of the same little narrative being spun from different creators that I fucking brought up into this shit. Because let me tell you something, Paige. You say, oh, no, no way. Bomb Nation didn't get me monetized. Okay? All right. That's fine. Where else you get your subscribers from? Because nobody knew who the fuck you were. You had 123 subs. Not even that. When I saw you. I don't even think you had that. You had 16 views on a video. And I said, well, look at there. So what I did was promote the fuck out of you. And you can't say that I didn't. Because most of my sub, a lot of my subs subbed up to you. And then you had your own channel and I left you alone. And what you did is not what I did. You were over there doing everything. I didn't do any of that.
I'm not trying to be rude, but your lives are not like the, it's kind of like watching pine needles fall off a tree, but I digress, you know. But you sound an awful lot like Ray Ann. I will, monkey. I appreciate that. And trust me, there's not going to be any new friends in 2024. Right. They do. But my point is, is she said that she didn't. Everybody gets clout from somewhere. Agreed. But she's saying that she didn't get any from me. How do you think you got monetized? There's a million people in here telling you, girl, we only sub because of bomb. And I, I and I don't want you to lose your channel. I just don't want you to come to the one that, that helped you. I don't understand it. I, I genuinely really don't. I think you got influenced by two girls that got in their feelings, that got you in your feelings, and then you wanted to take me on. You're fine with an opinion of me, but do not state that opinion as fact when it's not, in fact, factual. I got a lot of receipts. A lot of them. And I saw a lot of people over there that were in my chat that automatically assumed that what they were saying was true without even listening to anything I said. Y'all didn't even give me a chance to show anything or respond. You just automatically thought that it was true. I mean, exactly, Yancy. I still want you to eat, just not at my table. Okay. If it doesn't apply, MC, respectfully, it doesn't apply to you, okay? It applies to the people that did. And then you go and announce, I left the Discord. Okay. Funny that you were all up in that Discord. Huh. Coco. Coco Joe. There's a lot of you that doubted me, so don't come in here and tell me that you didn't. I watched it with my own eyes. But listen, when you're going to talk about me, you make sure that your voice doesn't shake, okay? You say that with your whole fucking intentional self, all right? There's three sides to every story. There's their side, your side, and somewhere in the middle is going to be some truth. I did not steal any money from anybody. I've learned a lot on this platform about people. And I swore when I came back, I was going to do it right. So fuck you. I guess so, so done. To be honest with you, I genuinely don't know. I can't tell you something that I don't know. I don't know who told, I guess they told y'all that we'd just been talking all this whole time. That, in fact, is not true. And I couldn't go in and finish the conversation that I started to have so I could tell the whole the whole thing because I couldn't get back into Discord that day. I don't think they've yet to show anywhere where I've ever spoke negatively about Janae. 
But I am going to show you some things about Janae. Because Janae's been running her mouth a lot about things that aren't true. She said that there was a voice chat all about her. That, in fact, was not true. What I asked of in that voice chat was, why did Janae leave Discord? I didn't know that she had left. And they said that she had some kind of issues outside of YouTube that she needed to take care of. I said, oh, my gracious. I asked Flavor for an email. I asked Paige for an email. And I asked Flavor to call her. I told Flavor she was not her, mo her, ro her rogue mod. I took up for her. So I was never ugly about the girl. I absolutely adore the girl. I still adore the girl. I just think that she's been told some things that aren't true. You have yet to show me where I've done anything to that girl in a negative way. How could I have scammed her about a puppy that I was trying to find a home for to begin with and said so repeatedly? Then you get, you, Janae comes into play with today and says that I, somehow she's got the illusion that I can see everybody's private DMs. Whoever told you that, that's not true. I can't see that stuff. I can see what is in my Discord. If you go and DM someone in Discord, I cannot see that. So how would I have messages from you and girl interrupted? I'll wait. No one ever gave me any messages like that. I've never spoke about you at all. I've never shown any messages from you and girl interrupted. I did, however, show one from me, and girl interrupted, when she was telling me to expose Time Down Bone. The audit log only shows the public chat. It doesn't show personal DMs. I don't know why she took it to Charlotte, but Charlotte is next on my list to fucking do. Okay? Okay. Hey, Cosmic Cam. What you doing, cutie pie? I haven't seen you lately. I saw you the other day. One of the people in the private DMs would have to give me a copy of those messages for me to be able to play them. Okay. I, however, don't have any copies of anything like that. So, respectfully, stop lying. I'm just going to ask you simply one time. Stop it. I don't know who's giving you your information, but you know what, Janae? All you had to do was come to me because I don't think you've ever been afraid to come to me any other time. But, you know, Paige, while you're going to Charlotte and saying they can play your content, going to JJJ saying she can play your content, play it out loud, but you better make sure you play mine right motherfucking behind it. But, Charlotte, I'm already going to eat your ass up tomorrow, bitch. You were like watching sap on a maple tree. Okay. All right. I just respectfully have ignored you. I have not entertained you, okay, because you're not entertaining. What you've really done in your time here that we didn't ask you to come over here, by the way, um, I can't entertain somebody like that. I can't barely listen to you, ma'am. But when you want to put that 
other creator who is me, <laughs> but you won't say my name. You say that other creator. Well, here I go. It's your day, babe. It's coming. We're going to take a look at your time here on YouTube and how you spin it and see what amazing things that you've done for somebody in this, this crazy YouTube world. Because when you put me in your mouth and you call me a thief and you call me a liar and you've got a record of it, ma'am, you fucking convict. You better make fucking sure you know what the fuck you're talking about. Because now, ma'am, you are fair game. So get ready, bitch. I told you to leave me the fuck alone. I've said it three times. Bibbity bobbity motherfucker. Now maybe you'll have some content that's worth watching. All right. Let's move. I was shocked when Janae drove home 25 minutes to get on a live and say, Bomb didn't say hello to her. Uh, oh, what? Oh, hold up. I didn't know that Charlotte questioned Flava's stroke. Why do you talk about people that you don't know, ma'am? Who, who asked you to come over here, by the way? Nobody likes you. Do you not know that? Listen, if you're hanging out with JJJ, I already know who the fuck you are, buddy. You're going to sit up there and talk shit about me. You better pony up, baby. Because I'm all over your ass as of tomorrow. So run tell that. Screenshot that. Go to Facebook with that. Real life me, bitch. I don't have a record. I put my whole entire life out here. My whole entire life out here. I am not scared of my past because I'm ready for my present. You understand? Said so there ain't going to be shit you can tell me about myself that I don't already motherfucking know. You're like a slug on a hot summer day, bitch. And that's being as nice as I can possibly be. I have ignored you and ignored you and ignored you as much as I possibly, humanly possible. You're really not a factor for me, but you're going to be fucking fun. Hey, y'all. How are y'all? It's good to see you. Hey, you bush babies. I got some strippers up there and some cocaine and some pot and all. Y'all could hit my like button because right now, y'all can't say that I'm lying because I'm showing receipts, right? So, Paige, hurry the fuck up and show me where I scammed Flavor's money. Hurry the entire fuck up. Hurry the fuck up! And don't make a community post. Hurry up, get on a live and show where I stole Flavor's money. Yeah, she about it. She about that life. We'll see. I'll make that bitch cry and laugh when I do. I don't even, I really don't even want to do it, but God damn it. You just are ridiculous. You're just ridiculous. <laughs> You're just ridiculous. I just can't with you. I try my best to ignore the fuck out of you, ma'am. And you just keep poking that other creator, 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 that other creator. That other creator's got a name. It's Bombshell Reloaded. Say it. Pussy. Yeah, pussy. Hey, DC. Hey, y'all. What's up? Now, you said that I did not give Flavor all the money. That I didn't send her all the flowers, but you've yet to show where I didn't do any of that. and um, Or that I did do all that, so hurry the fuck up! And by the way, I did show the receipt of where I sent Cindy's money. 
Y'all say it with me in the most southern way that y'all could say this. Pussy. <laughs> Run till that. Okay. You're just a pussy. <laughs> oh, I digress. I digress. Let me just stop it there. Paige, I'm all about the truth. Also, Paige, um, I don't have proof of everything I said. Stop that. Stop it. You said you did. But now it's just opinions and suspicious movements, you said. Bitch, you suspect as fuck. Sit the fuck down. You need to learn a lesson in humility. And not just listen to hearsay. What you said was not opinions. You tried to say it as fact. Yep, I debowed the fuck out of flavor, apparently. Suspect is fuck, boy. If I've had 612 people and only 60 people like this, there's 60 people, 60 more people of my people in here. Can y'all please hit the like button for this sorry ass, thieving ass bitch? Who also, by the way, helps someone to, to buy Amazon wish list out. Um, when Devious's child got hit by a car, I asked people to help. What have you done over there with your beautiful, beautiful channel? Other than docs, everybody. Oh, but the proof is phone calls with me? Yep. All right. And Mr. Ricky, right? He sent me some relief, I believe, in the form of a leaving ibuprofen. I'm dead right now. So I'm going to start railing both of those off your man's dick tomorrow. Okay? Everybody should have a Mr. Ricky in their life. A 65-year-old man that drives an old white van that goes and picks up furniture. Or may maybe bring me some leave and some Gatorade. Because I couldn't walk, Paige. I had a slip disc, you fool. Ricky is very tricky. That's a tricky Ricky. Now, let's see what else I got in my receipt basket. I don't know. Or could it have been that I said a leave and not relief? What do you think, Paige? I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy. All right. Here is something. Because y'all been accusing me. I'm doing a lot of things here. So let me show you where. Janae. I, I want to talk about you for a minute, sweetheart. You wanted my attention, honey. You have it. Okay, but I'm not going to be ugly about you, Janae, because I think that you thought things that just weren't true. And instead of just simply asking me to explain things, you assumed a lot of things. Yes, the Adderall shortage is my fault. You're exactly right. I'm railing it off all their men's dicks. Okay. And go make a voodoo doll about me, Charlotte. Because I'm fucking going to hell anyway. Janae, hope you're doing well, you are beautiful bomb. I am, thank you. Hey, bomb. Hey, bomb, hope you've had a great day. I fully respect that about you, bomb. Not assuming, asking, and not tolerating any doxing. Two nights ago, I was the biggest doctor on this planet. Make my mind up. What am I?
Now, hold on, because I'm trying to find that one where you called the hotel. I don't know if I showed that yet or not, but... Oh, hold on a minute. Yes. There we go. Tupac, let's talk about you for a minute. I remember all that very well. That's why I was so mad at Amber and called the haunted hotel. I was so mad she doxed your pick. Tell me again you're not a real lifer. Oh, my God. Hondo, go find somebody's asshole to eat. Respectfully. Okay. Thanks. Was that you, ma'am? Was that you, Tupac? I think I'll just leave that here for a while. Let me show you again, Tupac, who really you are. One more time for your own stupid ass. In case you want to try to call me a liar. I remember all that very well. That's why I was so mad at Amber and called the haunted hotel. There you are in all your wonderful glory. Okay. That isn't me saying I called the haunted hotel. Like it was blamed on me though, wasn't it? When really it was you. Ball spot stop. Respectfully, please. Now, let's talk about this. Paige, let's talk to you for a minute. Y'all, did anyone hear bot say I dox the kids' names? That means I was 100% right. That means that report was correct and boom, bitch, you lied. I didn't ask you to do that. Show me where I ask you to do any of that. I wait. But you're calling me, you said that all the doxings this is being done in my, in my discord, but you're not saying it's being done by you, huh? <clears throat> you wanted the butter from the duck, now the duck from the butter, you're getting it all. 
No, I didn't ask anybody to do anything. You're right. But let's carry on, shall we, with our receipts. With our Discord receipts that, you know, you did. The entire conversation about my back that you said was a scam. And here it is. The whole entire conversation. I am hurting and I can't get up to cook. Someone said hot but good. Hope yours is good. Same. I'm hurting and can't get up to cook. Sorry, girl. Can we do anything? No, boo. No, boo. No, boo. Is what I said. Want me to order DoorDash? I'll send a Venmo. Y'all, I'm tired of being down like this. I did not say anything. They asked me if I had a good back brace. My doctor ordered me one from when my back is out like yours is. What can we do to help to build you up? I'm going to urgent care in the morning. Being in pain wears you out. Sorry, you're in so much pain. I'm glad you're going to the doctor. The last time I had trouble with my back, they put me on steroids and it seemed to help. Back pain and tooth pain are the absolute worst. It's hard when your body doesn't match your energy. Bomb has all this drive and hustle, but your body is stopping you from doing anything you need to. I sent a Venmo. I said, Wanda Mom, I sure, I sure thank you for the offer. I didn't say I accepted anything, and I didn't ask anybody to give me anything. Tell me again where I scammed. How was that me scamming? I didn't even respond, most of it. That's simply a conversation. When I slip my disc. Oh, Sarah, I'm just a cool motherfucker. It's not no means yes. I said no, boo. Now tell me again how I scammed, and I'll wait for that reply. All I said were the pictures of his children and that they were alive and not the children had not the children that passed. Yes, I know. And thanks for the offer. Yes, thanks for the offer. So how long have you really like hated me? I mean, and for what? I was pretty damn nice to you. I really was. I didn't agree with the things that you did. But some of them wasn't doxing. Some of your videos weren't doxing shit and all that. I did not tell you to go and bot like that. I was doing just fine by myself. She's not here. Happy day. I asked her to exit when I paid her, by the way. So let's go ahead. Let's show some more. You talking to bad medicine about doxing. Okay. Bad medicine, you get on my motherfucking nerves. You said that you left my Discord months and months and months ago. Hey, Cooter. What's up, baby? Good night, Beezer. You, in fact, left on the 2nd of July. Not months and months ago. And you get on every nerve that I got, okay? Just every... Probably Heart of Queen. She goes to controllers, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they are, Julie. They are, but my point is, is these people said that I wasn't nice to them. And that is, in fact, a lie. No one said that. No, Granny, I can't. Hold on just a minute, y'all.
Vinny G, if you were playing me, Vinny G, I'm going to strike the living fuck out of you. You old perverted son of a bitch. Why don't you go jack your dick again in those red thong underwear? You old fuck. You've got to be 6570 by now, don't you? Please stop. I'm going to ask you one time. And I know if you're playing me that you're listening to me. Okay. And I'm just asking respectfully. You don't get to jack your dick to my picture and then stream me at the same time, you piece of shit. Tell everybody about your business partner. I'll wait. Okay. Magic, honey. It's so good to see you. But you're going to get the fuck out of here tonight. Thank you. I didn't mean to say it like that. I won't say it again. I promise. If you have to visualize that, I'm sorry. I don't have to visualize men like that. I got Ricky, the relief giver, by the way. Nobody wants to see a grandpa in a thong. Not today anyway, especially not me. Because I can still get a 30 and 40 year old. Sometimes I can get a 21 year old too. Make sure you know that. Write that down, honey. Shut the fuck up. Didn't you walk 12 miles to school or something in the snow? Fuck. You geriatric motherfucker. <sighs> Listen, I would rather eat crumbs with bombs than steaks with snakes any hour of any day. All right. I can't ever forget the the time you pissed in your corner of your room when you were butt drunk, butt naked. That was fun. You live such a high lifestyle and all that. You're you're so much better than me, Vinny G. By the way, you are so much better than me, sir. I can't believe it that you're gracing your washed out channel with me. My chat is nice. You're right. Who needs a Vinny G when you got a Tricky Ricky? Everybody should have a Tricky Ricky. Okay? All right. Let's move on. Now, let me talk to you for a minute in bad medicine because I am sick of your psychotic mouth. Okay? You need Jesus. All right? You need something other than me. If I see anybody in this Discord running their mouth about anybody on my mod team like you were trying to find out who somebody is, I'm going to embarrass you. By the way, Paige Noel is still a mod for me at Bad Medicine. I don't know why I'm seeing you say she is, and I don't know where she came from in the Best of Truths channel, but if you aren't talking about doxing her, I wouldn't. But if you are talking about doxing her, I wouldn't. That is me standing up for you when they wanted to dox you. You understand? That's me standing up for you. The ma that you have now wanted to fucking dox you. Ironic, don't you think? That's me standing up for you, Paige. That's your, that's your lively mod over there that was blocking everybody that came into the chat. That's the one that was blocking Flavor all those million times over. That's the very one that wanted to dox you three months ago. You make me sick. 
Y'all really make me fucking sick. I mean, I didn't even know all this was in. I'm never in Discord. I am now, by God. I'm watching it like a hawk. However, honey, that's me standing up for you. You know what? Y'all get everything you deserve. I'm not even hurt. I'm disappointed. I'm really genuinely disappointed. But you did teach me a lesson. I won't promote another channel over here. Yes, Shelby. I won't promote another channel over here. You can bet your sweet ass on that. Now, you know what I'm thinking? This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you saw dollar signs, got your ass monetized, and then came for the big the big cheese, huh? With your honest opinions about me being a thief and all. Y'all better watch out, Bomb is learning how to use the search feature. I never knew you could do that. I don't know a damn thing, but I'm learning now. This even, even isn't even a live stream to drag you. Or to make thousands of dollars like you seem to think that I have at all times. I wish to God I had a thousand dollars at all times. I probably wouldn't be on YouTube. I'd probably be finding Tricky Ricky every night. You know what I'm saying? Shelby, I wouldn't joke about that right now, honey. That's probably that's probably a bad one. What's that about me being ungrateful to a former faithful roundhouse kick girl? I'm going to I'm going to get to that if you'll allow me, Jay. Okay. Because see, that just shows you right there that that's not a faithful sub. That's not a faithful anything. If Jennifer. Jenny Jen Jen is talking about it. But one thing that she can't say is that I scammed her. Right. But we're going to talk about that. Okay. If you'll just allow me to get dead things, you know. Okay. I'd appreciate it. And I really don't care about anything that she has to say. She also said that I split money with Devious and I did it. I, I'm not going to put it out right now. I'll put it out at the end of my shit. All right, anyway, let me go ahead and continue because I'm not talking about them right now. So, that's me taking up for you, sweetheart. But, you know, you mod them up. So. Sadie Grace, stop. So, why y'all over there praising Rayanne over there, Tupac? Let's talk about what you said. That's exactly why, you guys, I stress so hard about not trusting no one on here. And I mean no one. I never saw that coming, guys. I thought Rayanne had enough respect for me to at least not give Tobo my docs. But if she's threatening it, how the fuck does she get my info to dox me? I sure didn't give it to Timed Out by owner. Well, I don't know. Where that came from. I can tell you one damn thing. If you accuse me of it. I've never told anybody who you are. I've never told anybody. Who you are. Not a fucking soul. Hey Jenny. That's not the real one. Don't block them. So, why you're being so sweet about Rayanne in my fucking Discord. You know, I never did that. After the way Rayanne treated her, praising her, yeah. You know something? 
Yes, I know, and I went up there with her. You don't, Sarah. Not ever. It's respectfully. I went up there with her because she felt uncomfortable going up there, so I went up there with her when she went over Ann's panel. Unhide the parody, Jenny Jin Jin, please. I just literally got that out of my mouth. Amber Devious, time to on her now page. All roads are back. Who are you to talk about trust? Hmm. I've known who you are for a very long time. I've had your phone number. In fact, there's most of these people over here. I know. She knows who I am, Kalua. I'm just riding with it, honey. I'm just gonna let her ride the I'm gonna let her ride the wave a little bit. Um, I've talked to her before. Um No wonder my back was hurting. Amen. You know, dirty bitches are a dime a dozen. And then people wonder why I had no trust. And then someone, I think, said, uh, no, she doesn't understand how that makes her subs feel. When she says she trusts no one. Well, why would I? People that I help up and I give a hand to and I take up for and I ride for turn around and literally smile at me while I'm bleeding out. Y'all really did prove something for me though. You proved that I can't trust anybody. But yet I've never told anybody who the fuck any of you are. There's people over here in my chat right now. I know exactly who they are. I know what they look like. I've never once told anybody who they are. What I've always said is trust no one. Y'all hugged me with a knife straight into my chest. But this time... It didn't really hurt me like some others have, you know, because it just didn't. Danielle bothered me a little bit. And Bad Medicine, she still thinks you're an idiot. <laughs> but I, I'll digress, okay? Just let me digress. Because it just doesn't matter at this point anymore. So let's have a conversation again about you, Paige. I'm going to go back to you. Since you're the meaning of all my joy that I've had these last couple of days. All right. However, I more than agree that nobody should be reached out to unless it's a legit emergency. And I've been battling with myself for posting that damn short of Bot's daughter, to be honest. Because I do know she still works there. And the thought of potentially putting her in danger killed me. Never mind the fact her asshole mother doesn't give a shit about her goddamn safety. You, do, you did that, ma'am. Good night, B-Fam. I never said I condone anything you did. Y'all really, y'all really came from my throat for absolutely no reason. I didn't do anything to y'all to deserve it. You let two women get in your head. And then you just made up the rest. But you're the one that was really doing all the dirt. You know what I mean? This isn't me saying all this stuff. This is you. While you're acting like a Pollyanna schoolgirl over there, like you've done no wrong, your hands are clean, clean. Calling me a pill head and 
alluding to things, you know, as fact. I've shown yet again that no, nothing that you said about me, at least is fact. I'm not the one that's done the doxing, ma'am. It's you. Tupac, it was you. Janae, shh, just be quiet. Why lie? These are our own words. I'm not sure because I didn't watch her. Once she started in, I was in her chat when she started coming for me. And out of decency, I left and didn't listen to it because I knew who I was as a person. And I know when to just shut up and let them talk. So let's talk about this. You got all mine and my fiance's docs. I gave you everything. His job, office number, emails, everything for you to get public records on names he's ran. You never said a word and you you know no one was doxed. I never said one word about any of that. Yes, she did say that her research is why she's so big and amazing now. It's not because of me at all. Even though her entire channel was based on my beef with Amber, right? She's got merch out there that took things from my chat and my me saying them and made merch out of them. Well, she's not very good at that because that was on Canva. Parody Jenny Jinjin, a.k.a. Lacey, all the way. I want to play, too. Yes, I agree, Sarah. Someone gave me some very wise things. She goes, you know what? This discourse shit is, is, doesn't need to be causing you all this drama. You know what's so funny? Since they left, there's been absolutely no drama in there. Ain't that something? You got sweet ladies talking about crafting. Absolutely no drama in there at all. Funny how it works that way, huh? No drama whatsoever. Not somebody texting me going, I left your Discord because of this. They were talking about my friend. No, nobody said an ugly thing about your friend. Okay. Not one bad word. And now you're allowing trolls in your comments to say whatever they want to say about me as fact. When, listen, they've been doing this to me. Savage and her people have been doing this to me for years. And the fact that you would allow that, it doesn't even make me sick. It just shows that you really were in the wrong place. You're just like them. So please go be one of them. Because when you grow up, You'll never be anything like me. And I may have done a lot of fucked up things, but I'm really trying my best not to do that now. And for you to get on a goddamn live stream and say things and then try to put a fucking title in it and say honest opinions, you stated opinions as facts. And if you were in front of me, I'd punch you in that big ass honking bot nose you got, bitch. But I digress. How does the entire Discord know that you don't have the doctors have left Bomb Nation? Yes. Wait till somebody does it to you, Paige. Because at this point, you know what it really looks like? It looks like you looking for a little bit of clout, a little bit of my haters, 
to give you some money because you are again three months behind in your bills and the entire discord knows that but you're you're not a sad fisher right i call that a scam how you still got lights on hmm how you still got wi-fi i didn't have a car for over 10 years stop crying about it Who's to say that you're not scamming people by saying, I haven't paid my bills in three months. Goddamn, the man would be knocking on my motherfucking door. And they have, by the way, and the whole world saw it. And I let them see it. That was me at my worst. And God forbid anybody ever feeling like I felt that day. I hope to God you never feel it because it sucked. But you got power and Wi-Fi not paying your bills. You sound like a goddamn squatter yourself. If we're going to talk about things, you know, if you're not, if you're, how can I call out by when bomb, when bomb is what? When I'm what? Not taking the money from flavor that you said I took. Not splitting money that you thought that I split. Hmm. Again, though, how does the discord and most people know that you haven't paid your bills and that you don't have a running car, right? Without you sad fishing your fucking self. Is it because it, they didn't give you a whole lot or not any or what? I don't know what it is. I don't really know your reasons for what you've done. Yes, she was. But Paige said on her community post that she lied about three, three months behind. Hold the fuck up. What? Hold up. What? Wait. She lied? Oh. <laughs> So wait, why would you do, why would you do that? Why would you lie about something like that? So you lied to a discord of people that you called friend. Is that what you said? It's friend. And to get them to give you money. And when they didn't work, it didn't work out for you. This is what you do. Now I get it. Why would you lie to the people that build you up every day? That's a goddamn grift. And you're going to call me a motherfucking grift of truth channel. You mean the creator that wants to be 100% true with her subs? Because she has said that on a live stream. Don't lie to your subs, Paige. You're not going to have very many more if you're going to do shit like that. That's fucking insane. So, if I guess because no one offered to get your car fixed or no one offered to buy you an extra bottle of wine or some dope that you smoke, you know, your little pot, you get pissed off. The honest creator literally said that you lied. Are you ser like, are you serious? Like, I didn't know she said that because I don't once once I'm done with somebody, I'm done. I unsub 
Okay? And I don't look at their shit. When Paige got monetized, you encouraged us to go and light up her chalkboard. Yes, I did. So now I finally get where, what it's all about, right? We were all trying to figure out how to help you. We helped Zero. I helped Flava. When Devious' son got hit by a car. I helped Tragic. And I said, if we can help all those people, I would help you too. So she did lie to get donations. Yes, she did. So, what else have you lied about? Paige, the truth teller. You're gross. She also says she owns her house, but can't buy a car. Yeah, you know, whatever. I believe nothing she says at this point. Bomb, I don't see Bomb as a grifter. Bomb is funny and entertaining. That's why a lot of people send Bomb money. We enjoy laughing with Bomb. I am funny, and sometimes I'm entertaining. But right now, I just got slapped in the face with a holy shit. I don't think that's anything funny to lie about. She said she did it to shut me up. Well, why was she listening to me? I did try to help Snaz with the power bill, yes. I'm not as bad pe as people like to say I am over here. You know, y'all y'all don't ever talk about the good things that I do. You just simply want to tear me down and ruin my life for what exactly? Yes, Angie, you don't need to tell that, though, respectfully. You don't need to say that. doesn't matter. Oh, my God, Banks. But she has no reason to lie. You know, she paid her bills. She's just said it's been three months to shut us up, but she has no reason to lie. Yeah, you have every reason to lie when you get monetized, right, Paige? You <laughs> the motherfucking hypocrisy, man. It's un astounds me right now. Dude, <laughs> I can't even. Like, this is blowing my ever-loving mind. If the people in the back in the choir and the alternates aren't catching what I'm throwing down here tonight, you might want to think faster and smarter, okay? Not harder, right? Because let me tell you something. People can say whatever the fuck they want to say about me because they do on a regular basis, right? When I came back, I asked for a second chance. That's all I ever asked for was a second chance. I've stuck by what I said. I haven't doxed anybody. It wasn't me doxing anybody. When I found out that somebody doxed, I fucking took the wrench. I'm trying to stand by everything that I said that I wasn't going to do. Recap for the people in back. Bomb didn't split money with Devious. Flavor got her flowers and donations. And Paige did lie about being three months behind on her bills. But I lied because a customer didn't pick up their dresser on Sunday. They picked it up on Wednesday. Yes, they did, but they picked it up. And what? I mean, what? What? What what does that what? What does that have to do with anything? So what if they picked it up on Wednesday? So what? They were in the process of moving from one big home to another. So it's not for me to say when they wanted to pick it up, right? But I had my shit done. I'm genuinely trying to be a good person. Please allow me to be that. 
stop just stop savage you are truly a non-factor you are a 50 year old woman who thinks that she is 21 and looks 60. you have been road hard and put up wet with every goat fucking man around shut up and leave me the entire fuck alone farm animals don't even like you they love me though because i got a whole chicken Yes, it was raining, Andy, but, you know, rain apparently doesn't hurt furniture or anything, but it doesn't matter. What does that matter about? What? what, what? Tupac, where the fuck are you at, big mouth bass? When you got more miles than Greyhound, bitch, don't talk about other people. And I'll leave that there, Savage. I did not dox JJJ. I did not. And listen, if you're going to come up in here and run that dick sucker, do me a favor. Suck mine on your way out. Okay? Thank you. I just don't like people like you. You piss me off. You're just stupid. I can't stand stupidity. Yeah, you can spray perfume on a pig and it's still going to be a motherfucking pig. I mean, it's pretty hard for me to paint doll furniture to begin with. Because I believe that my furniture has been called doll furniture. Then Photoshop furniture. I Photoshop my dog in the, in the picture. I can't even make my own graphics, much less Photoshop. So, And that was, of course, said by Paige as well. I can't even make my own merch. Well, obviously, you can't either because you use Canva because I found the exact same thing that you used when you stole my shit to put on your shit on Canva. You can't make it either, Twat. The only thing savage about savage is her crotch because it's got dirty ass teeth on it. I'm so sick of your mouth. You said you were going to pull up four years ago. You coming in August. God damn it. It's going to be August 1st in the morning. Hurry then. Tire fuck up. Because I got enough hate for you to come out with me and my bat and my dog. So let's get it. Because I ain't going to fight fair, bitch. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to make sure I hurt you. I'm going to grab you by that great ass neck you got. Cradle Myrtle. And fuck your ass up. Now run till that. With a crepe ass skin. Shut the fuck up. Savage confirms JJJ's docs, by the way. You don't confirm a docs. If Benny Keys would fuck Candace Wells and not touch you, with a 10-foot pole. I sure am, James. That tells you something about life. That should tell you something about yourself, for sure. James, I'm trying my best, honey. Can you just allow me to do so, please? Thank you so very much for coming in. That's up, my dear. Okay. Well, don't fall out of the bushes. Just walk out of them respectfully. Savage right now is going, y'all better clip it. Is anybody clipping that? Did somebody clip that? That's what you're saying right now. You are on the phone right now raising hell. That motherfucker. That fucking slut. You holler. Don't get that. I'm going to make a video. That's what you're saying right now. While you're thinning at the hairline area. I don't want to grab your hair. I'm scared to. I may pull that extension off. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, let the games begin, you said. Yes, let the games motherfucking begin. 
Imagine a man fucking Don Wells' wife and not fucking you. Now run till that. Mm-mm-mm. I rolled up on Benny Keys and he rolled the fuck out like Forrest fucking Gump, bitch. He gumped your ass is what he did. Boo, savage. Now, this has also come from the same woman three years ago said, You show up on my property and I'm calling the law. Just like that with a white claw breath. Looking like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Fuck you. That motherfucker was elbows and assholes out the back. He's fast as fuck, boy. He was fast as fuck. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. There is in a Discord. I know that they're playing my live in a Discord, honey. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Right now they're punching air, okay, and and that's okay, because Dog the Bounty Hunter rolled like that, didn't he? She rolled up on Dolly and got her ass ended up in court crying. It's a character I play on YouTube. I've never been in trouble. I love Bob, Dog the Bounty Hunter, too. I can't lie. <laughs> I can't lie. I love that show. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> but I'm like you. You have been talking about me nonstop over there. Going, uh, 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 uh. Making dolls in my face and want to run over me and put bullets in my head and beat me up and all that kind of shit. And the only thing that you really have done for yourself, ma'am, is make you look like you ate too many bag of dicks along the way. But you come from Murder Mountain, she says. I came from Murder Mountain, North Carolina, God, dog. Yeah. Listen, bitch. Once that neck Botox wears off, you're going to look like a whole fermented peach. You pruned up asshole. Leave me the fuck alone. Stop talking about me. You already tried to literally, well, you did actually take everything from me, like you said that you were going to do four years ago. You did take everything from me. But God damn it, you won't take it now, motherfucker. But you will take an ass, an ass whipping outside my front door. I don't know what the fuck is underneath your fucking armpit, but bitch, go to the doctor. You got a growth under there, you scrotum armpit looking bitch. I can't stand you. I just can't. And I've been begging you. And I have truly been begging you, bitch. I wish to God you would pull up. Because my swing is on point. Why are you calling me turkle, turkey neck? Did I look like turkey neck in that short? I don't think I did. Because when you lose weight, see, my, my skin goes back down your shit. Keto, everybody. Keto. That shit stayed down, motherfucker. You're 50 years old, and you look like you've been rode over the concrete with a jackhammer. All right. I have more class in my toenail of toenails than you will ever have in your MF in life. And I can respectfully know how to 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 walk and speak in public like a normal person while you're over there screaming you're from murder mountain girl and murder mountain necessarily is in california the real one but you're from murder mountain road and the reason why they call it murder mountain road 
It's because so many people have had car accidents on that winding road. It ain't because you're tough, bitch. So stop that. You have been lying. I don't even understand you. Elevate your armpits when you sleep. Maybe to help. Puff out that scrotum a little bit. So why are you over there, you know, saying let the games begin? Oh, yes, please let them do. Because you've been saying a lot of shit for a long, long time. And I'm sick of your mouth. So when you do come see Terry Gord, you better bring your motherfucking A game. Because I may be older than you, but I will still whoop your ass like a washed up tomcat, something like that, you know. You talk like a trucker. I guess that's because you suck so many trucker dicks. I don't know. And they left your ass too, didn't they? <laughs> oh shit. It must be funny. Listen, I may be single, but I ain't stupid. <laughs> this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what she sounds like. This, that? What is this and that? You mean this and that? That's 100% correct because of the car accidents. Honey. Honey. Hunty. Man, shut up. Anyway, let me move on because I'm done with you. I've been done with you for years, but you just keep on like a bad STD, like a bad growing yeast infection that will never, ever Ever, 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 go the fuck away with your eighth grade ass. Every time you open your mouth, I hear. <laughs> That's all I ever hear. Dueling fucking banjos. Woo! Squeal like a pig! You got a pretty mouth, boy. Mmm. I like mustard biscuits. You like the bar fly at a truck stop. They leave you too. <laughs> I can't. I'm just done. I'm done. I'm done. That's every time you open your mouth to talk about me, all I hear is. -na 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 Lot lizards and Mark Terry are intertwined. Okay. Swear that everybody wants to lick you, girl. Listen. No. Nah! No, they don't. They don't. I'm telling you, they don't. Look, Dolly didn't even want to fuck you. But I digress. I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there. How about that? Right. Lot lizards. We got many of them around here. Seems like. Listen, I like a good hot man, a little country guy. Yeah, I like it. But motherfucker, if I get one, they kind of stay. They don't leave me or say, I can't get in the car with you. I mean, you literally went from North Carolina to Texas to see Benny Keys, and he said, bitch, I got to go. I'm out. Like white lightning. But you're going to talk about me. Uh-uh. Math ain't math in somewhere. Now, I'm not the smartest on the planet. I'm not even close. But if the math don't math, then something's wrong somewhere. Because that man showed up. Forrest gumped your ass. You came up to the front door. He went his ass out the back door and said, see you, bitch. But you're going to talk about me? Uh-uh. You got ghosted. <laughs> when you tell me when Benny Keys can ghost you, because he'll, he'll do it again to you. <laughs> that man don't like you. He was fast as fuck. 
Oh, it was me long. I got, I got, I got on a whole nother subject. My bad, my bad. Jenny, Jen, Jen, I'm not even gonna talk about you, honey. You struggling over there. You struggling. Let's see what this. So this is me talking about life. Yet she forgave him and went after that dickaroni again, huh? Poor JJJ just don't even go after Dick. She just on the struggle bus. <laughs> She's like, fuck Dick, man. Don't nobody want my stupid ass anyway. No, they don't, Miss Ma'am. No, they don't. I'll be back. Your husband's here again, bitch. Remember that. I believe that's when you want to put that bullet in my head, I think. Um. Anyway, so... This is me talking about my life, talking about life, just simply just talking, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's see what I said, because I believe this was used as well. I'd like to get back to work. This is laptop gate. I'd like to get back to work. It's really setting me back. My truck is in the shop, kicked my entire ass last month, and it did kick my ass. My laptop is done. I only have my old desktop right now. Can't update my iPad. Damn bomb. I still ain't caught up on blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's all good. I have my house bills paid. That's most important. I don't spend frivolous money. I pay all my bills in full. I'll never be homeless again. And let me reiterate that. I will never be homeless again. Savage, you're the reason I went homeless to begin with. But you won't ever get me like that again. As God is my witness, you will not. And I ought to sue your fucking stupid ass for doing it, really. And a lot of people ask me why I don't fuck your life up. Because your life is so fucked up, I don't need to do anything to it, honestly. You are the reason. That my life fuck, got fucked up and I will never forget it and I will never forgive you. And if you were on fire on the side of the road, bitch, I would pour gasoline on you and dance on your motherfucking grave. I hope to God that you don't ever lose that house that you live in. Because it really fucking sucks. And I hope that nobody does the kind of shit that you do to people to you. Because you're just... I don't care if he's recording my live. I will strike him when I'm done. I've already got the link and I've already got it set up. Fuck him the long way. You did a lot of dirt to me over the years and I've done none of it back to you. And some of y'all really truly better open your fucking eyes about these people that y'all call good people. I pick myself up and I'm trying to move on. Just allow me to do so. I don't fuck with y'all. I don't fuck with anybody on here until they fuck with me. Y'all remember how much you laughed when I got evicted? You remember that? You remember? I remember vividly. Some things you just don't forget. So please, roll up. That's about five years of pissed off that you're going to get. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I have my home and my pup and we okay. I can kind of feel my depression coming in. I'm getting on top of that. That's just me simply having a fucking conversation. They did. And for absolutely no reason at all. Absolutely nothing. 
because I was their friend at one time too. So let's make sure of this. Here we go. I want to make this clear to you. Don't lie to your subs. So I doubled down. I addict shamed. I've addict shamed. I've addict shamed. Paige, I've addict shamed. Really? That's funny. Coming from the same woman that's been calling me a pillhead for three days, right? Or for longer, whichever. You got a lot of room over there. Rule number one, don't lie to your fucking subs. That's right, Paige. Let's carry on. What are innocent kind offers circle? This proves nothing. It doesn't prove anything. Sorry, girl. Can we do anything? No, boo. Where did I say yes? Y'all, I am tired of being down. Is that scamming? No. This is not an example of a goddamn scam. This is me on the damn couch with a slipped disc. You're just stupid. You're, this isn't even a fucking a fair fight. At that point, it was, yes. Shelby. Hold on. There was one other one I wanted to show. And I don't know where it is. And I don't even know if I have it. Dang, what'd I do with it? Oh, why is that still there? But just so it's clear. <sighs> That's some damning evidence for me. That's a very good question. JJJ said about when Paige is live, Paige tells the truth. So does that mean that you believe Paige about bot, JJJ? I'm, I'm just wondering. And I don't like that shit. I get kind of tired of being called one. Nobody really knows my whole entire life, right? Yes. Many people spoke of their hard times in Discord. Does that mean they're all scamming? No, it means everyone is going through something and they felt like they had people they could talk to about it. Oh, I'll never do it again. I promise you that. Not ever. Not ever. But she can come into a Discord and tell people that she is three months behind in her bills. Right. Has no car. I know, Sophie. I know they do. I don't care. They're still not going to be a factor for me. They're still not. You don't have to like me. That's fine. You could have simply left and been done with it. But don't sit over there and say y'all weren't the reason why that Discord was fucked up. All the shit y'all were doing behind the scenes. And don't say I never took your wrenches because I did. And don't say that I was over there allowing you to dox. You, were a, you are a creator, as you say. You have your own channel. I can't stop you from putting out your own content. But I am going to stop you from talking about me. If it kills me. Now, I got about 75 more. 
I'm just a little tired of it, honestly. But if you want me to wrap it up in a bow, just let me know. Jenny asserted herself that night when she told Jenny Jen Jen that she could play her content, then went into Charlotte's and did the same. So you're playing on other people's emotions to manipulate them is what you did, Paige. Isn't that what you said I was doing? I didn't lie about a slip disc, but you lied about your bills. So is your car working or not? Which is it? You saying that you lied to shut us up isn't a good enough excuse for you saying the same thing on the live streams, much less to people that were good to you every day. You are as shady as they come, honey. And thank you for showing me exactly who the fuck you are. Because you and my eyes are no better than anybody else I talk about. I don't know. That's just what she said. My Discord is in a fucked up place. Y'all made it a fucked up place. Tupac, you're nothing but a straight up dumbass. I can't fix stupid. I don't even want to fix stupid with you. But y'all keep emailing creators and getting them to go with me. I'm going to chew you up and spit you out. Like roadkill. You understand? You spilled all that information on your own free will. No one asked you about it. No one said a word. You were literally, literally in my Discord. Blown it. Like you were some... Billy Badass. That means I was 100% right about those kids. Man, you suck. But I've also learned a lesson about saying the word friend. That won't ever come out of my mouth again. Because really, nobody is your friend. But you can just about 100% bet that I was yours and stopped you from getting doxxed when your mod that you have right now was ready to dox the living Fuck out of you. I don't care how many community posts you say. You say I scare and intimidate people. Weak people, maybe. But not grown-ass women. I make people fear, feel inferior. Why, by me taking up for you so they wouldn't dox you, you dumbass? Man, it's not a fair fight. I'm out. Good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow.